Okay. Let's go and burn some motherfuckers. Okay. Where is that guy? Dude, 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 dude. Oh, there he is. Ah, no, 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 no. Get on the ground. Use. Not burning. Oh, there he is. Oh, can't touch him. Nice. How many fuel uses? I have one use left. Okay. Let's see. The store is open. We got herbs. Lots of herbs here. Can only hold one though. An unlit fireplace. Can I light it? Oh, I can light it. Yeah, it looks like there's a map up there. Huh. Okay, so... Oh wait, I didn't check that door. Get back in there. God damn it. Helmet. Okay, the helmet key. I need the helmet key. Don't know where to get the helmet key. I did find where to get the armor key, and uh, I believe it was the end of the first part. But unfortunately, if you grab it, it's, it triggers a trap, and the only way to stop the trap is to put the key back. So essentially, I need to find something to put in that keyhole so that, uh, the fuck is that? Can't carry any more items, okay. So that, um, it'll allow me to keep the key, but to set off, to disable the trap. Unfortunately, I don't know what that, that, uh, item is yet. But I hope to find out eventually. I'm just gonna keep on hoarding, keep on hoarding. Okay. Put that in there for now. Green herbs. Broken shotgun. Damn. Considering it's broken, it probably doesn't fire, so... But it's obviously got to be used for something. It's just a matter of finding out what it is used for. Store knob looks like it's ready to fall apart. Go through anyway. Yeah? Okay. So that's gonna fall apart. What is that? Unless it means I can't open that door anymore. And I have to find another way. Well, I'm pretty sure there's another way. That looks like it goes outside or up along. Wait. I see a tiny room over here. Why is there a tiny room? That's the question. This is a tiny room? Yes, it is. I want to go in this tiny room. Oh, 
fuck? Did I come in through this door or the other one? Hmm. I see a dagger. I take that dagger. I see some ink ribbons. A shotgun. I got the shotgun. <laughs> nice. I got a brand new shotgun. What? Uh, okay. Wait. Okay, I get it. I get it. So as long as the shotgun is is off the the mount, that trap will not activate. So I guess that's where my broken shotgun comes into play. Cool. But I am technically still alive. Not dead yet. That could change very, very quickly. Okay. Let's grab my broken shotgun. And continue. Broken shotgun. There it is. Okay. Let's go trade this busted ass piece of shit for an actual working shotgun. I wonder why it keeps telling me that. Like, is it basically implying that there's a number of uses of that door? A number of times you can go through that door before the door knob breaks? If that's the case, then why not just take the fucking door off the hinges? That's what I'd do. Prop it open or something. There's a thousand and one items in this mansion that you could use to prop open a door. And ironically, I am staring at a fucking shelf full of them. Yes, I'll take the shotgun. We can use this shit. Okay, shotgun. Nice. Now I just need to collect a little bit of shells for it. And that's everything in that room. So, again, when the room goes green on the map, that means it's clear there's probably very little chance you'll ever have to come back to this room again. Unless I am mistaken. Okay, so I'm gonna go up the stairs now. Now that I got my master shotgun, stairs and see what's around. Okay, so I'll grab this thing here. Wall mount? A wall mount. Wait a minute. Turn around and go this way. Looks like there's a door over here that's open. Uh, 
Okay. It's an open journal. The pages are blank. Well, that doesn't do very much for me. Oh. Healing. Oh yeah, it's basically telling you that, like, mixing... It's a mixing herbs tutorial. Ooh, I see shiny. What's that? Can't carry any more items! I can grab that. Okay, so I'm gonna have to come back and get that shiny. Wait a minute. Oh, I'm right above my, my pot of gold. Right above the pot of gold. Perfection. Okay, so I can put my plank in here. I don't have very many shells for this, so I'm gonna hold off on it. And I'm gonna go get that shiny and add it to my collection. I'm a hoarder right now. I'm hoarding a lot of shit. But you know... Uh, if, if history is, is any indication, there's no doorknob. Oh. Okay. Well, just gonna make me go the long way then, you fucking prick. But if history is any indication of what's to come, you know, the more items you, you hoard, especially like he healing items, uh, the easier time you will have. It's a dog whistle. Crumpled memo. Is something is no good. Find it. Okay. There's a vicious canine that lives. As far as I can tell, the mutt is always hanging around the second floor balcony on the west side of the terrace. Second floor balcony on the west side of the terrace. And he ought to come running at the sound of a dog whistle. This is where you come in. The thing it is, I reckon that you're the only person that can get that damn dog, get near that damn dog without risking a serious mutilation. Which means only you, the, the object that Sir Spencer has been, wants is hidden and concealed inside. Okay, so... Apparently there's a, a dog on the upper, on the second floor west balcony terrace, overlooking the terrace, who's got something in his collar that I'm probably going to need. Let's uh, look at the map and see if I can find the second floor. The west side. So that'll be like over probably the bottom bottom left hand side of the map but I don't really want to fuck with dogs so I guess uh, I'm gonna put my dog whistle away and uh, probably take a save and call it a session because I've been playing it for a little while now I got a lot of stuff. I got a lot of stuff. But anyway, um, I guess that's uh, good enough for now. So uh, thank you guys for watching, and I shall see you again next time.